Hi, Ian Roberts, Mastering Composition and Simplifying the Painting Process. A lot of our success in painting comes from thinking about what we're going to do before we begin. Otherwise, as so many students say, they get halfway through a painting and they just feel stuck. They don't know where to go. So it's sort of like stacking things in your favor. And so today I thought I'd show you my process, in this case with a photograph, of what I would be thinking about before beginning. And then I'll just show you a quick little bit of this drawing. It's not a painting, of a drawing, 20, 30 seconds or something. And then we'll look at the finished image and I'll show you what I changed based on what I talked about at the beginning and why. So I hope you find that helpful. This is a photograph of Poet Laval, a village I used to teach in in the south of France. And what I like about it is I like the long line of the wall bringing us in, the road bringing us in, the nice sense of overlap of these different things leading back into space. There's a really nice density of overlap. So that's what I really like about the image. The only major consideration is that this sits right in the middle, and I'm not sure I want it right in the middle. And of course, something has to be in the middle, but I'm not sure I want to orchestrate the whole drawing around that. So my thought would be to crop it here, get rid of half of this lovely wall, which I like, but still enough to get us in. And then I'd probably cut some off here and here. So it looks like this. So there's the cropped image and all the nice overlaps that I was talking about there I'm really looking forward to working with that. Before beginning a painting, I'm always looking for the structure of how the horizontal and the vertical engage the whole picture plane. So we have a horizontal here at eye level, the horizon, just by default. We know it's there. But there's also all these also. They're never usually very hard to find. How we engage the vertical is the one that really takes some attention. And we can see lots of verticals here. The one that I find a little weak is this one. And I would probably just continue that up here so that there's more pressure in that motion down into where we're going to end up. So the one thing I don't like about it is this kind of barn-like shape here. Compared to the richness of the architectural shapes there, it seems sort of prosaic. So I think I'm just going to put a big tree there, and this one in front of it, and just simplify that whole arena right there. So really what will happen is we'll come into the drawing to here, and then over to here. That's the plan. This is sped up at about three times normal speed. And I'm doing this really as a drawing in its own right. It's not just a study. But I will say by taking it this far, you really do learn a lot about what to expect coming forward as you paint. So there's the finished drawing. And there's really three changes that I made different than what I was sort of conceiving of. One is I didn't put the cross, well, I did put the cross in, and it just seemed to draw so much attention to itself that I took it back out and figured this looked enough like a steeple that we'd know it was a church. The other thing is there was two really nice kind of overhangs of uh, these trees or bushes over this wall that just made them look kind of weird, like long-nosed, snouty animals. So I took those out. And this tree, which I had had intended to go in behind here, I ended up putting up here, sort of, you know, you can imagine it just behind this bush, on this as a large kind of bush tree shape, because it just filled the space there better by putting it up here. But otherwise, that's pretty much what I had in mind and pretty much what happened. As always, I hope you found this engaging and useful. If you think this would be interesting to look at different images and how I might process it before beginning and then maybe the drawing or painting afterward, please leave a comment and I can do that more often if you think it would be useful. Please do subscribe and if you'd like to get this as an email each Tuesday, you can find the link down below. I hope you have a great week 
and all the best to you. I will see you next Tuesday. Bye for now.